Unhealthy habits, among others, can lead to health problems. Ako po si Kuya Kim, at samahan niyo akong tuklasin ang iba't ibang uri ng sakit, the risk factors, and what we can do to reduce our risk of getting these diseases. Alam niyo ba na may iba't ibang uri ng cardiovascular disease o CVD? Kabilang dito ang coronary heart disease at stroke. Ang CVD ay general term para sa mga health conditions na nakaka-apekto ng ating puso o kaya naman sa ating mga blood vessels. Ang cardiovascular disease ay maaaring kaugnay ng fat buildup sa arteries or arterosclerosis at increased risk of blood clots. Around 20% of deaths among Filipinos and Filipino-Americans ay dulot ng cardiovascular disease. Kagaya na lamang ng stroke. Kapag naputol ang dialoy ng dugo sa isang bahagi ng utak, ito'y maaring maging sanhi ng brain damage o death. Kung ang blood flow sa utak ay panandalian lamang naputol, ito naman ang tinatawag na transient ischemic attack o mini-stroke. Another type of cardiovascular disease ay ang coronary heart disease na nangyayari naman kapag ang daloy ng oxygen-rich blood papunta sa ating puso ay nabablock o nare-restrict. Ito'y maaring maging sanhi ng heart attack at heart failure. Kabilang din sa CVD, ang mga sakit sa arteries katulad ng peripheral arterial disease na nangyayari kapag merong nakaharang sa arteries at iba't ibang parte ng katawan. Ito'y kadalasang nangyayari sa binti. Ano nga ba ang sanhi ng cardiovascular disease? At paano natin ito pwedeng maiwasan? Narito si Doc Vergara upang sagutin ito. There are two kinds of cardiovascular disease. One that you're, you're born with and one that you acquire. There's not much we can do for cardiovascular diseases that you are born with. No? That you go see a doctor and most of it is surgical in nature. But those that are acquired are acquired because of poor eating habits and lack of exercise. You see, the heart is a muscle. No? Like any other muscle, you either use it or lose it. So if you don't use your heart as much, your heart will weaken. It's just like muscles of the legs or hands. No? You don't walk, your legs will get thin. You walk and exercise or run, they, they become muscular and they work properly. If you don't uh, eat a balanced meal, no, a balanced diet with all the necessary amino acids, there can be a buildup of calcium no, deposits or plaques that will end up blocking the heart blood vessels. Proper diet again is necessary for healthy heart valves, heart arteries, heart, veins, no? or anything that supplies uh, nutrients to the heart. No? The more open it is, the easier for the blood to come in, the healthier will your heart be. If there are blockages in the transport of blood into the heart, then you get a vascular disease as well. Prevention is definitely better than cure. Kaya naman importante para tiniin malusog ang ating katawan. Ang Sante Barley ay isang certified organic drink na merong young barley grass from New Zealand. Barley grass is known to be a great source of dietary fiber. Inaabsorb ng dietary fiber ang kolesterol bago pa ito umabot sa ating dugo. Kaya naman ang barley grass ay nakakatulong sa pagpapababa ng kolesterol levels, risk of heart attacks and diseases, and strokes. Ugaling kumain ng maayos, mag-exercise at uminom ng Sante Barley araw-araw upang patulungan tumaas ang iyong resistensya at mababa naman ang iyong risk na magkaroon ng cardiovascular disease. Wala nang eksaktong sanhi ang CVD. Mas mainam pa din to practice a healthy lifestyle upang maiwasang magkaroon nito. Tandaan, alagaan ang sarili to live more and do more. I'm Kuya Kim Atienza and I'm on grass.